Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to on this fine Friday. Can you believe another week has passed afternoon? Oh, my, this time just goes by so fast, you guys, and it has been crazy Looney Tunes crazy here since I turned off my camera on Wednesday. It has just been one thing after the next. Uh, it's just too much to go into. It's not anything earth shattering or anything like that. It's just like my phone keeps ringing off the hook. I've got things coming up, but right and left and, and center. And I am just like, I'm a crazy lady. But anyway, today I was bound and determined to sit down, settle down, and bring you a video for Friday here. <laughs> and in today's video, we will be recreating uh, this tray that I'm going to show you in just a second here. We're going to do it first. Uh, a tray that Chris made me, and I'll explain more when we turn the camera around. And I've got some new elements to put into it this time. We're gonna make a very quick little flower arrangement and arrange this big tray. It's big, it's a big tray. So we're gonna do that. And then I've got uh, a couple things to haul for you, this, this shirt being one, and uh, an, another shirt like it, but in a different pattern. And I've got three, four, five questions, something like that. And then I have a few little mischief with Maverick pictures uh at the end i don't know that i have any video today i might have used up all of my video snippets on wednesday's video uh but thank you guys so much uh for all of your comments the other day i barely could get back to even harding them as you all probably noticed for those of you who wrote me a comment i'm so sorry it's been just crazy and uh, but thank you guys so so much for all of your sweet wonderful lovely comments and thank you guys for coming back here time and time and time again. I very much appreciate every single one of you. Uh, you will never know. You will ever never know. You all are a part of my heart. And I really enjoy doing my YouTube channel. You know, I have to be honest with you. I, I have to say that I talked to Chris about taking a sabbatical for this summer. Uh, even moving on into September, you guys, because I've just got so much coming up. And Chris looked at me and he said, Arlen, he said, I, I think you should just tell your subscribers that you will come back when you can. And don't take a, to, don't take a sabbatical because one, they'll miss you. And two, it would drive you crazy because you enjoy doing your YouTube channel so much. And I said, I do. I enjoy. He said, that's your social outlet. He said, that's and it's true. It's true. I mean, you know, I get so much from interacting with all of you guys and talking with you, even though you can't talk back to me, but I feel like you can, you know, and I can feel you talking and hear your comments <laughs> for sure. You know, so I've decided that I'm not going to do that, but I will, there may be laws in the schedule here, <laughs> my, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. So you'll know if I disappear for a Monday or a Wednesday or a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that I'm either on vacation or I am who knows doing what. So, but anyway, I will come back as much to my schedule as I can. And if I can't, then I'm not going to push myself to do it. <laughs> as one of you said the other day, and I really appreciated your comment. Can't remember which one of you made it. I'm so sorry. You had remembered a couple of years ago when I really got burned out. And I did it to myself. Nobody else did it to me. I was putting up videos every day and a weekend day. And day in and day out and, and, and recording them and editing them and putting them up. Plus I was doing live videos, which I refused to do for safety reasons, um, because of what happened to Jody over there at Southern, uh, Jody at Southern Seasons, what happened to her. And, um, uh, I just won't do it. I just won't do the lives, you know? So, but I was doing lives back then. I was recording way, way, way too much. I was going out and buying things just in order to make videos and as y'all know, I stopped doing that right pretty much then. And I've also gone through a big purge. I've really tried to make some changes in my life here to lighten the load a little bit, lighten the load off my shoulder, lighten the literal load, you know. And I'm really trying to to uh, do a rehaul, you know. I'm, I'm back on my eating plan. I'm feeling good, uh, you know, all of those things. 
but I need to keep myself healthy. And in order to keep myself healthy, <laughs> I, I, I need to just kind of do what I can do, which is what I said in that one video when I was practically having a nervous breakdown. And when I said, I just need to only come back when I have something to come back with. So that's what I'll do. And I'll be working my way around the house. I'm sure I'll have hauls. I'm sure I'll do whatever I can. And we'll work our way through the seasonal stuff too, starting in August, you know, and um, about end of September is when things will finally settle down for me, but I've got stuff scheduled all the way through <laughs> July, August, and, and part of September. So it's craziness, craziness. Uh, and I will bring to you my trips, whether we're, when we're on them, maybe, or maybe when we get back, not sure, still haven't decided about that. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. I am just yammering. So let me turn my camera and we're going to talk about this beautiful tray that Chris made me and we're going to put it, put us together a pretty tray arrangement here. All right, let me get my camera turned and in place so you all can watch me work. Be right back in just a second. I've yammered for six minutes already, you guys, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. And here's the tray that Chris made for me. He made it out of shiplap. This thing is as heavy as lead. And y'all know I did not bring my measuring uh, tape over here, but I believe it's like 30, 33 inches long, I believe, something like that. 33, 34 inches long. And it's about 15 inches wide. And I wanted a nice, big, substantial tray here. You can see he put all rub bronze handles on it. And this is the color that the shiplap came, this creamy color, which I really love. Creamy white color. It's it's here's a true white you know and it it matches so close so uh but this is what i'm going to be using and i love it here on the island also i have this i my one of my kids got me this for christmas two years ago and i had not even opened this yet this is a table runner that's 72 inches by 15. so this is what this is going to sit on here on my island and then flanking it, I'm going to put these candlesticks that I already had in my coffers. And they're kind of a, a white with a, a, you know, kind of a whitewashed look. And I'm going to use these blue and white candles that I got, you know, from Hobby Lobby the other day that I hauled. So, let's see if I can open these. Well, they will flank this. I think this is going to make a real pretty soft setup up here on the island. I'll tell you what else I'm gonna use here in a second. Okie dokie, there we go. Alrighty, here we go. So, as you saw, I put this on here. This is a lantern that I got from at home. Uh, if I can find links for the, for the things that I'm using here, that I bought myself, I will be glad to link them in the description box. But if I can't find them, I'll just tell you right now, I'll tell you what I got from where. Most of this came from at home though. So I have really loved doing these tray designs as of late. You guys, they challenge me and I really love to, to, to use sentimental things uh, mixed with modern things, mixed with I, you know, I wish that I could figure out a name for the way I decorate, you guys. <laughs> it's eclectic. I don't, I don't do farmhouse. I don't do modern. I don't do really country anymore. I really don't do, I mean, I do a good combination of anything. I guess it's just the what I like decor, you know, what I think looks good together, what I think works well, you know. So... The main pieces that I will be using in this tray design is this lantern. And then Bobby, sweet Bobby over there, perpetualribbons.com. She went on a trip to California and saw this and just picked it up for me, bless her heart. So this is another thing I'm gonna be using and I'm gonna be putting a little bit of a flower arrangement in there. I don't know whether you can see it, but there are gold, kind of brushed gold flecks and, and brushing pieces in this. It's like it was a gold lantern. They painted it white and then they, they wiped it off. That's kind of how it looks. So I, at, at At Home, I bought these candlesticks too. I've got two of these candlesticks. So I'm gonna be using these. These are nice and heavy. Aren't they pretty? And then the candles I got, they're just that tall. And I got them from 
an Etsy shop that I can give you a link for those. So, and then these, this sugar bowl and creamer. This is what inspired me the most to do my blue and white decor. This sugar bowl and creamer were my grandmother's. And so these are very old and these are Staffordshire, I believe. Yes, Royal Staffordshire Ironstone. I don't know whether it'll focus for you there. But these were my grandmother's, and this is what inspired me to do my blue and white. I love these. I use these in my decor somewhere here in the kitchen all the time. And I'm going to put them here in this tray. And just because I put them in the tray doesn't mean that we won't use them. This is definitely my sugar bowl. This is what I use for my sugar bowl. So I'll lift this out of the tray every now and again. So anyway, instead of telling you every part and piece, I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting this together and see where we end up. I'm not really sure. But I tried to put a blue candle in. I didn't like it. I tried to put a white candle in. It kind of got lost in the shuffle. I didn't have, actually, I didn't have a blue to, blue candle to match these, the blues in these candles or in, in the uh, candlesticks. So I found a gold candle in my coffers, and this is what I'm going to use. Again, I did not purchase anything for this decor except for I had ordered two of these from Amazon that I hauled the other day. And the so, blue and white candles, of course, on the candlesticks there. But I am going to use this, and this is in my blue and white Amazon storefront box. So I'm just going to use one of these. I've got two of these, but I'm just going to use one in this design. And I'm just going to set it right in there. Just like that. It's a little bigger. In fact, I think I'm going to kind of smush it together a little bit. That way it will hold its shape a little better. Not hold its shape, but hold it. That way it'll stay put there. There we go. All right. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and make this. Vase up. I think I want these to sit kind of like this. Let's go ahead and see. Is she here? Is she, is she coming in? Hey, Kristen. Hello. How are you? Our daughter, Kristen, just walked in the door. So I'm going to continue on doing this video. Kristen, I'll be done in a little bit. <laughs> you look cute. I like your dress. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little bit of ivy here. And I had a, I had a tray set up in here before, and these are just all of the florals that I had in that tray. And we're just gonna use it in, in the, and I had a um, like a blue vase that I used for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use all of the florals that I had in there which is not too much, but I have some gold here that I might add into the mix. Here we go with a blue hydrangea and a white hydrangea. And then I have just some blueberries. Again, you can get the blueberries from my Amazon shop. And again, these are just everything I used for that centerpiece before. Okay, let's put one here. Now, as those of you who have been with me and watching me do my blue and white decor, you'll know in my kitchen here, I like a little bit of red to run through it. So what I have here is just one piece of greenery, but it has little red, you know, little red tufts of 
florals on it. So I think I want to try to add this in too. And this is pretty because it can lay on the tray too. This is all of the greenery and whatnots that I'm gonna use in this decor. I'm not going to put any greenery then down on the tray at all. So this is it. So if it will lay down, it does a little bit. I can maybe pull a couple of pieces. to the front like that, just kind of wispy. And kind of coming down both sides like that. See that? That's kind of pretty. These do not want to stay in, do they? So now, I had these in an old vase of mine had these for years and years. And I thought, well, let me try to pull a little bit of the gold over into this design. So let's see what I can do here. Tell you what, guys, since Kristen has arrived, I think I'm going to maybe do one or two questions after I'm done this, and then I'm gonna go ahead and close this one out because I want to be able to spend time with her. And I haven't seen her in person in <laughs> quite a while. And things have opened up in Virginia here. She's starting to teach summer school, so I need to spend some time with my kiddo, you know? And I know you guys understand that. So whatever questions I don't get to today, I will answer on Monday. And we'll just bring this to a close after I've done this and I'll look at the questions and I'll show, well, I'll show you my shirts. How about that? I'll do that. But I think I will save the questions till another day, you guys, because I, I really want to spend some time with her. <laughs> All right. I think that looks pretty. I think that's all I'm going to do with that. I may add some more down here. We'll see when I get everything together. But I want to put this kind of back in this other corner back here. I need to kind of turn this toward me. And we'll put these out of the way for the moment. Okay, and then I want to put these candlesticks, one on this side, and I think one snug back here. Oops. Like that. Then I have this towel that I got at the Fredericksburg uh, Civil War Visitor Center when my, our friends Barb and Don were visiting at Chatham Manor. That's where I got this from. So I thought with the hydrangeas, it looks super pretty. And this is what I had in the trade before, but I really like this. So I think I'll just let that kind of flow out and we'll put the sugar bowl and creamer on it. And then I bought this butterfly as well from at home. And I think that will be pretty kind of like right there. And again, I'm really not going to put any greenery. I may, I don't know. I don't even think I want to do that. I really like it clean and pretty. I do have do small things with great love. So that can either go here or I, can't, I, don't know, I think I might like it over here. I'm going to center these a little bit more. something like that. There we go. I love it. I think that's super pretty. Super soft and super pretty. I can see myself messing around with that a little bit more. 
But I love that. I think it's so pretty. And I think set up on this island, it's gonna be lovely. So, I love it. I think it's gonna be pretty up here. All right, let me turn my camera and I'll show you this top. And what I wanna tell you about my woman within, that's what I wanna tell you about. And I will save my questions until Monday, you guys, okay? And that turned out pretty, huh? That turned out pretty. And thank you guys so much for understanding if I cut this one a little bit short today, although I don't think it's gonna be that short, probably. <laughs> but uh, I really do wanna spend time with Kristen because I haven't seen her in person. She's been very careful uh, until we all were vaccinated. And then once we were all vaccinated, she was so busy with school and making lesson plans and doing all this stuff. You know, she's even made lesson plans for the whole state of Virginia. She's something else, my kid, is something else, I tell ya. So I do wanna go spend some personal time with her. So anyway, let me show you this top. Here I am in it, whichever side I put myself on. Here I am in it. It's a poncho top, I love it, it is super cute. This is a 2X. I am again between a 1X and a 2X. So I got two X's and I'm glad I did because it kind of gives the girls a little bit more room, you know, and it also comes down up right, up right over my bum a little bit, you know, not below my bum, but you know, it's a nice length. So I'm not worried it's gonna be creeping up on me, you know? So I got this this style, as you see in the picture, and I didn't put this one on to, to put myself in a picture, but this is the other one I got. And you can see the underlay of these matches the overlay. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And these are so comfy and cozy and just, you know, they make you feel feminine. They make me feel feminine anyway. So I love it. I love it. So I got this one and I have two more coming that I'll show you whenever they come next week. I tell you when I see, when I find a top that I like, especially tops, boy howdy, I'll buy whatever I can out of them. And these are not super expensive. These are like $23, something like that, a piece. They're not super expensive. And I've got all these trips coming up and stuff, and these will be perfect. Perfect, beautiful little flouncy tops. Now, my Catherine's order. Did I say woman within? It's still coming. <laughs> my Catherine's order finally arrived last night. I've already sent back, and I didn't even put them on. I mean, I put them on, but I didn't take a picture of myself in them. I've sent back three pieces, you guys, of that. And I didn't put on the pants to, to model them either. But if I can find a picture, these are the pants I kept. But y'all know, thank goodness, I, I need to encourage you guys to do something. Especially on the Catherine site or on the Woman Within site, read your reviews. Read the reviews that go with, the, with whatever you're buying. Because I read the reviews and I upsized to a 26 in this one particular pair of capris that I got. I'm nowhere near a 26, you guys. I'm about an 18, sometimes a 20, you know, but I'm about an 18, 20 right now. And about a 2X, between a 1X and a 2X. So I bought the one pair I kept were size 26. It's ridiculous. And they are a little big, I will say, in the waist, but they're not so big in the hips. And they're not stretchy material. So I said, Psh, I'm gonna keep this one pair. And they're florally and they're really pretty. And I think I can wear my blue vest and I'm gonna order myself a white three quarter length sleeve top to go under it. I don't wear a lot of white, but I think it'll be pretty with those. So from Amazon, the tops that I usually wear, I'm gonna buy a white one of those. But then what I sent back was a pair of capris that I had ordered in a 2X. I, they had an elastic waist on them. I pulled them on and they dropped down to my hips, y'all. I felt like they were gonna fall right on off. I said, are you kidding me? These are two X's, these should fit me. These should fit me. Too big, way too big, and a two X. So I have a 26 that fits me when I'm a two X or a 20, 18, 20, but a 26 that fits, wait a minute, there is something wrong. There is not anything consistent with the sizing on that site, you guys. Then I had ordered a, um, a duster, like a duster, and I'd ordered it in a 3X. Now, really consider I'd ordered this a month ago too, you guys, I'm telling you. Literally, I'd ordered it on like May the 23rd, something like that, 22nd, and it's now what, June the 18th, 19th, what is today, whatever. It took a month almost to get here, and I've lost a little bit of weight since then, and maybe a month ago it would have fit me, but it was so big I could have wrapped it like three times around me. 
I'm not even kidding you. And it was a 2X. I'm like, are you, I mean, a 3X. Are you kidding me? It is ridiculous. It, it could have had two of me in it, honestly. And I'm, and I'm not saying I'm small. I'm not saying I'm, I'm not small. And I, but I'm not, I don't wear girl. It doesn't matter what I am. Whatever, it didn't fit. Then the third thing I had ordered was, a, a, well, the, I ordered four things. $200 worth of stuff, you guys. Four things, $200 worth of stuff. Yes, it was. I was excited to get it because it was really pretty. Fourth thing I ordered was a tankini top, a tankini top in, in black and white polka dots, black with white polka dots. Super cute top. Well, they sent me a purple size 28, purple button down, long sleeve. I don't know what kind of sleeve. I didn't even take it out of the bag. Purple button down, though, top, size 28. I'm like, these people are cuckoo crazy at this place. What in the world is happening? Uh, so I sent it back. And get this, you cannot send it back for a exchange if you've used PayPal to pay for it. I was like, fine, I don't want your stuff anyway. So I sent back the three items, all but the Capris. I sent back all three for a full refund. Y'all. Yeah. Ridiculous. And they're, but they're going to charge me $9.99 to send it back. And they're going to take that out of the money that they give me back. I'm not happy. Not happy. I still have the Catherine's order coming. And I think I did order. We'll see. We'll see if they fit. I think I did order those in. Um, I mean, I looked at their charts and everything. And it was just like. And I took my measurements. I was out here in the middle of the night one night taking my measurements which I didn't like to see. I don't, I don't like to see that. I did not like to see that, but whatever. Anyway, regardless, I'm not happy with them. We'll not be ordering them. They've lost a customer in me after, and, and not only Catherine's this is under this, under this umbrella, it's woman within Catherine's and a bunch of other things, you know, just not going to go back there. Take to take a month to ship something is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. You know, if I wanted to order something, I better be thinking what I want for next summer, this summer. I mean, you know, really? I was not a happy camper, as you can tell. And it takes a lot to get under my skin like that, but that really got under my skin. That was ridiculous. So, anyway, I sent it back. It's in the mailbox to go back. I put it right back in the bag they sent it, filled out their dumb form, put it right back and put on their return shipping label that they're going to pay me or charge me $9 to ship back. Ugh, drives me crazy. Anyway, <laughs> there's my Catherine saga. That's ridiculous. It's not, it was, I did not have a good experience. I absolutely did not have a good experience. So anyway, all right, that's going to be it. I'm not going to look at my questions today, you guys. Please forgive me. Uh, for those of you who have asked me questions, I will be sure to get them to them Monday. I promise. Uh, Monday, I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Um, I don't know. I might just be doing a couple of reveals when it comes to my decor. I haven't done them yet, but I might, I might go ahead and work on the uh, credenza. And it's just another tray design similar to this. And the cozy corner, which is just me putting up a bow onto the, onto the same swag that I used. So I might reveal those and a couple of new pillows that I got for the couch on Monday and then we'll answer questions and have some more uh, Mr. Foot Maverick goodness and chit and chat with you some more. But for now, I'm gonna shut this one out and say, I hope that y'all have a great weekend. I hope you have something special planned. And if you don't, I hope you get to talk with those or uh, those that you love and who love you. And uh, next weekend is Maverick's birthday. So we will be heading to Candace's next weekend and Dustin's, Candace and Dustin and Maverick's too. Uh, and his family members are gonna be there. So we'll get to see them again. We all got along so well at, at Thanksgiving and at Christmas, can't wait to see them again. And so we'll all have a big time of fellowship and, and wishing Mr. Maverick his uh, first birthday. <laughs> Happy birthdays. So let me go into my final words and say thank you all so much for stopping in here today. And I hope all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts. 
pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, it might be a little later this evening that you're seeing this. And let me just say, I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure when I'll get to edit it. It'll be up on Friday at some point though, I promise. But until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.